Hello, and welcome to this short presentation on how to set the ESI SIP45 phone to a static IP address. We will do this through the phone first, demonstrating how to enter the password to make the IP changes. Then we will show how to determine the IP address of the phone without needing a password if the network does provide DHCP services and then connect with a browser. All ESI SIP phones have the default login of admin, A-D-M-I-N, all lowercase. And the password is SIP, S-T-N, at E-S-I. That is uppercase, S-I-P, then lowercase, S-T-N. Enter the at sign, followed by uppercase, E-S-I. Okay, on the phone, you would press the Menu Exit button and use the Scroll key to go to the Network Settings, and then press the Select button. You will then be asked for the password. To enter the password, start by pressing the 7 key till you see an uppercase S. Then press the 4 key till you find an uppercase I. Back to the 7 till you find an uppercase P. Wait just long enough for the character to change to an asterisk and then continue by pressing the 7 key again to find a lowercase s. Press the 8 key for a lowercase t, then the 6 key for a lowercase n. Now you will need to press the 1 key until you find the at sign. Press 3 till you see the uppercase e, the 7 key for the uppercase s, and finally the 4 key for the uppercase I. Then press the select key. Now using the scroll key, you go to the LAN port setup and then press select. The first option will be LAN port protocol. So press select again, then scroll to static IP and press select. Press select again and you will move back to the previous screen where you will now scroll to the static IP settings and press select. Here you will select the IP address option and using the keypad enter your IP address. The asterisk key is used to enter the dot between the octets. When you are finished, press the select button again. Move on to the network mask and enter your subnet mask again using the keypad to enter the digits and the asterisk key to enter the dot. When finished, press the select and move on to the gateway. When you are finished, you can use the menu exit key to move back to the previous screen, where if needed, you can also modify the DNS information or just scroll down to the save option and press select. Now you have programmed your ESI45 phone to a static IP address. If your network does support DHCP, but for some reason you still need to set the phone to a static IP address, you will be able to make this change via a web browser. However, you will need to know the IP address your phone has obtained, and this can be done without having to enter the password. As before, press the Menu Exit key. But this time, scroll to the System option, and then press Select. Scroll to the Network option, press Select, and use the Scroll key to display all of the IP settings of your phone.
Now that you have the IP address of the phone, you can enter that in your browser, followed by a colon, and then 8000, and press Enter. Once you have entered this information, you will get a login screen where you will use the username admin, A-D-M-I-N, all lowercase, then enter the password, which is the same as we covered earlier in this video, uppercase S-I-P, lowercase S-T-N, the at sign, and then uppercase E-S-I, and click login. Hovering over the network option in the menu on the left will bring up another menu. Click on the LAN port settings, and here you can change the network setting to static IP, and enter the IP address information. This concludes this short video on changing the ESI45 SIP phone from the factory default of DHCP to use a static IP address. I hope this information has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for watching.